Good afternoon, guys. This is my October tour in my collection. It's been um, cold outside, so I start. I will start here because it's warm. It's warm and it's brighter. Okay, let me see. This is I forgot to um include this on my um last tour I think yeah but she's been blooming like crazy this is my um uh, dendrobium genting royal extremely extremely fragrant she always grabs my attention like that even though a lot of them are feeding already and then I cut the other spike and she's still even though she's old but she's still um fragrant yeah look at that she is gorgeous gorgeous bloom and let me see let's just pick and choose to um, put here in the video for this month because we don't want to make this video too long but this one here is the dendrobium burana stripe let me see if I can detect any scent none but look at that the stripe is gorgeous yeah she's so gorgeous Yep, and what else? It's um, she's got more spike than this, right there. She's got a spike, and I'm still keeping an eye on some that has spike because I have some new ones since the last um, episode, <laughs> kind of. Anyway, this is Tara, my dancing ladies. Let's see. That make them dance. My goodness, this is the Ansidesa dancing ladies. Sweet sugar. Look at her. She's been blooming for like uh, more than a week. Yeah, already. Gorgeous yellow. Awesome. It's an awesome yellow. Yeah. Oh, behind her, this is my, um, I repotted her last summer and she bloomed, I um, mean spike. It's, um, the yellow wildcat. Yeah. And this is my Concidium Sherry Baby with three spikes in it. So awesome. This is a uh, spike, and then the spike, and that's the first spike right there. It was like so long now already. Yep. Super cool. Oh, she's still in bloom. She's fragrant, but according to the description, she is extremely. See the word extremely fragrant. Well, because she's indoors, her um, scent might be um, shy, so it's not really uh, extremely fragrance, but she does have a fragrance. Yeah, it's it's very um, it's very pleasant, pleasant um, smell. I like it. My nose like it. This is my um, first time it bloomed for me. BLC Maris Glory H and R. Yeah so nice oh this little guy here still in bloom <laughs> oh so wash out there you go come on focus it is too bright from that window in there the sun from that window there uh, 
anyway so let's try let's try let's focus there yeah oh look at this oh my god a few days ago guys like oh maybe two weeks ago i was sniffing and sniffing this um i visited this at night oh well, every night so look at this three gorgeous flower again the blc Marie's glory while i'm sniffing and sniffing at it and when I opened my eyes, I saw this naked bud. They were still small back then. It was there. And I said, oh my God, it's just, my heart just stopped. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I was so like, so happy to see that one. And oh my God, like I, I was so excited. I told my husband, uh, he's, not, he's not excited at all. <laughs> it's not, this is not his thing. So I was so happy. I was blabbing and blabbing how excited I was my heart almost stopped when I saw the naked bud right there poking out and look what oh this is not it's um it's full potential because normally this this is my Katlia Ma, Moth Paradise and she flowered for me at outside uh, twice actually this one and that one and she always gives me four buds in one inflorescence but this one's only two I can understand because this is a different growing environment for her now this is indoor growing it's not as as bright as really outside because this orchid love growing outside for me yeah and she's fragrance too I just unfortunately unfortunate that I don't like her scent yeah and oh again back to this um eringi citrata no scent yeah just put that back there so and let me see oh sorry about the back lighting guys I, I i have to be creative with this one like this so that you can see it i have 13 buds on my first spike on this um, Howard's Dream, Marfitz Howard's Dream, yeah, Bilara Marfitz Howard's Dream. 13 of this one looks like hanging in there, and I can already see the beautiful color. Look at that. This is the spike that grows outside. That's how I, that's how I can tell that the real love growing outdoors. They just grow like crazy. And this is the the other spike right there. Yeah. And this is the other one. So three. I don't know what's that guy doing right here in the back. I don't know if that's um kiki or a spike. But it looks like a spike to me. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a spike. Let's see if I can see it here. Yeah. That one there. It's like a spike and let me see oh these are the repotted um, gluxinia gluxinias that I you know experimented cut the leaves and this is the the babies so I'm hoping they're gonna grow for me so because someone asked me about this one so I did the experiment so and it's grow it's growing this one, two, and this is the the third one. These are the the tip of the leaves that I cut from the that I cut from this one here. See, that's because it's too big to put in the container. Cut it and hoping that this one. This is actually has more had most babies. <laughs> so amazing, amazing. Yep and the vandas had to go inside maybe next week I don't know this is another Bilara Tahoma Glacier uh, this <laughs> the first spike bloom from the outside this is the ones remaining but I have five more 
spike in here. That's a spike. Another spike. And another spike. Oh, and this two in here is blooming. This two is uh, it's in the apex. Growing the apex with only one bud at a time. Yeah. And let me see here. Oh, this Galia, my um, Shinying Willet number nine. It's not as yellow in here, the sepals and the petals, as last year, but the lip is the same. It has a mild scent to it. But what amazes me is like I was happy to see this uh, Monirara Millennium Magic Catasitni type orchid because see, it's yellowing, and I, I was happy because you no know, real estate in here is very expensive <laughs> kinda see so I I was gonna transfer her move her somewhere in the closet somewhere that is not gonna be in here in the shelves for reserve for other orchids so yeah that's done see the sign of sleeping but this baby is not sleeping at all look at that got a new new growth in there so that means I have to keep an eye on this one. Oh, well, I actually just um, yeah, two days ago give that a little bit of water here in the bottom, you know. Oh, so I'm just gonna leave that in there for a while. Feel bad for the other orchid who want to get that piece of real estate there. <laughs> yep. Oh, and also exciting because this um, Shining Willet number nine has another sheath look at that the new one look there's another sheath right there awesome so happy oh i have to update you with my um meltoniopsis yeah she bloomed she gave me was it three spikes outside she was growing outside all summer all summer long she grew out there and we had a two or three days that we reached into 90, 95, 98 degrees and she was just under the shade cloth. She did her leaf didn't didn't burn or anything, but she was okay. So I um, I'm happy I think I can collect more Miltoniopsis if they keep uh, if they keep just okay to grow outside, you know. I don't I don't know what to say. They always said that this is uh, persnickety and like cold temperature, but I grow her outside with just fine. It's just my my temperature here. I think because um, we don't have a lot of the above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just a, a few days in the summer, you know. And like I said, I'm experimenting with this baby. I copied what the original bark looked like in there. The bark medium that it has, it looks like um, it looks like a, a peat moss or something. So I copied it. I got some of my um, or African violet soil. It's a peat mo, peat base anyway. But I added a handful of vermiculite and um, another couple of handfuls of um. Perlite, I don't really miss your guys, I just eyeball things, you know. So, and I added, I found this a bigger container, the same, almost the same as the original container that this plant came, came with. So, it has slits in the side like that. So, this is bigger. So, I center this plant in, inside the pot, and then I just added this soil mixture that I made bit base soil mixture you know I'm hoping this has been like in here for um two weeks now so I hadn't seen any yellowing of the leaves yet so I'm happy and if this is a successful for me I might add more Miltoniopsis to my collection in in that one because the ones that I had my previous um Miltoniopsis it suffered it didn't die in my care but they are in uh, like this but they are struggling to grow in the semi-hydro I 
they are struggling, things like that. They have babies, but I can see they still struggle. Yeah. And this is my big plants. I love big plants, guys. You know, this is my um, grandma to fill on. I didn't see anything going on there yet. But these are my hanging babies, guys, my hanging orchids. And all those um, ancidium that one, two, three, four are making me happy. Look at this. This one here is the uh, Uncustelli Colmenara. Ah, used to be Colmenara. Now I think it's Uncustelli. Um, it's the Wildcat Carmella. She's so gorgeous. And she's got three spikes. She gave me three spikes. That's um, in, only in one new bulb, pseudo bulb. Like that. The, see the side by side? It has, that's a spikes and the one in the center is from the apex and uh, that's normally only have a few buds if the spike came from the apex of the pseudo bulb yeah but that two right there oh my god this it's gonna be a fantastic show in little because this is a beautiful wild cat and this one here is the aloha spark playlist glow two spike guys two spikes Look at that, you can see it there. Yep, two spikes in that one. The last store that I showed you, there's she only had one that, at that time, but now she's got two. It's an improvement. And this one here, uh, what are you? This is my um, Komenara Wildcat Bobcat. Yeah, she also have two guys, two spikes. Yeah, it's branching out. That's the first older one. It's branching out right there it's so nice yeah and <laughs> this one's the amazing give she's always a giver um last summer and part of um uh, fall she gave me a two very long really huge beautiful spike and the last store that I made of this baby, she's almost done blooming that time, then um, I, I cut the spikes and look and then the next day after I cut the spike, I found this one started growing in here and oh my god, the spike is so fast growing guys see that spike, that's one spike and not only that one she already have another spike too, I saw this one like um, three days ago look at that, where, where are you? Let me see. See if I can see the shadow there. That's the that one. Yes. That's another spike. She's she's just awesome. This is um my spider orchid. I found out the name from Carmela's orchids because she sent me um a smaller version of this one. And this is the Bretonia Kawai's Choice. I like to call it kawaii, yeah, but that one, see, very, very awesome plant, a big, big plant, spider orchid, so cool, too, and then I'm uh, pretty sure that the other side of this spike would bloom also in the summer, man, they love outdoors, yeah. And what else to report in this area here? Let me see. Oh, this um, what is this? This uh, the the looks like the uh, the octopus orchid. See, I forgot the name. She's got um, a sheath right here. See? There's a sheath as a brand new one. I repotted her like um, less than a week. Less than a week ago. She's got a sheath. I repotted her in a way. God, this is my um no spike, but oh my god, the the latest growth on my um shumborkia, it's so fat, so fat, and the first one that has three leaves in that. So I'm hoping that she's happy, very very happy. Let me see some more in here. What's going on? Oh, this one here. This is the one that I almost threw away the. This plant, my one of my oldest um, 
orchid uh, the fall phalaenopsis and I trans transfer her to semi hydro and I put this outside in the little greenhouse in the back uh, but it it grew fantastic over there and it gave me a spike this one it has a branch and it managed to um, make this many buds one two three four five six maybe seven yeah and I have this this is the LED light that I use guys it's a pretty color I I just started using this one um, maybe a month or month and a half yeah I'm not even serious about this one because my plants is growing the same thing as when I didn't have this one last year so I'm not sure I think I think I just see this one as a decoration yeah <laughs> Because they were just fine before too. It's like I didn't see any really spectacular happening. Yeah. And this one is the my one and only. And first I have epidendrum that when I get more um more um cakes in this one, I will put them in the pit based soil too. So that I can put them in the pot like wildflowers outside in the garden. Yeah, but it's it's getting longer though. It's getting taller under my care. Yeah, and I don't know if I miss something, anything here. So maybe I'll go indoors, or I'll make up a part two. Okay, guys, I'll see you in part two. Oh, thank you for watching. Bye.